Joining us now, Kansas coach Lance Leipold. Coach, first of all, congratulations. Your team off to the 3-0 start. And I have to tell you, uh, more than a few folks I've read have called this team innovative. What do you think they mean by that? Well, first of all, it's great to be with you. Appreciate the opportunity to talk about our team. I think when they talk about innovation, I, I think we've been very multiple offensively this year, um, using a lot of different formations, motion shifts. And, uh, you know, we had a little option game to it as well and, and play action off of it. So it's given us a new identity, and it's worked uh, very well so far. Coach, I see that Acho jersey going on in the background. I mean, I know we trained together a little bit in Buffalo. I think that jersey still stinks. Like, I didn't I didn't watch it after my time in Tampa. I didn't know you were really going to put it back there. <laughs> well, you know, we want to show our love to you again. Matt Gildersleeve, our strength coach, you know, uh, thinks, uh, like I do, thinks the world of you and appreciate the, the time that we had in Buffalo and he came and trained at our place. So uh, we wanted to make sure everybody knew that. And, I think, uh, you know, somebody might even wear it out for warm-ups tomorrow. I love it. I love it. Well, speaking of Buffalo, Coach, there was a huge turnaround at Buffalo. You've been around a huge turnarounds everywhere you've been. We're seeing that now at Kansas. What is it about you or your team or your culture that causes people to believe? I, I don't know. I, I guess the thing I've, I really commend our staff, you know, and it, you know, it starts in the weight room with, with Matt and, and our coordinators of just uh, the daily process. I know it's an overused word many times, but, um, you know, we want to try to get better each and every day. We don't compromise how we go about it and, and standards and, and trying to get our guys to be better each and every day in each and every way. And, and, it's, and it's been uh, something that this group has been wa wanting and, and waiting for for a long time. As a lot of our players that were here when we arrived a year ago, May, have really gone through a lot, and they've really embraced it. And uh, I'm really happy for them that they've been able to see some of these changes happen on the scoreboard. Coach, did you expect it to happen this quickly? I know I talked to you at Big 12 Media Day, and you were pointing to me, Jalen Daniels, mm -hmm. and some of your other stars who were doing outstanding. You told me, hey, you got to believe in these guys. Like, they're going to be great. <laughs> but we're seeing it right now. Did you expect to be 3-0 and at this point going into your game against Duke? Well, you know, we've always tried to say, you know, we're not going to always measure success by what the scoreboard says, but uh, surprised, uh, I don't know, it wasn't necessarily planned, but it's also something that uh, we're never going to sell ourselves short on, and especially getting, you know, what we feel are two really good wins on the road, you know, overtime against West Virginia and then down in Houston last week. Um, you know, when we look at the last three games of a year ago, this group has really started to believe in one another, believe in what we're doing, and I'm never going to sell them short on any given Saturday. Coach, these weeks are short, and up next, Duke. What do you see when you watch the Blue Devils? Well, again, you know, it's funny. We just stepped out of a staff meeting once again to keep talking about it in last-minute preparation. Uh, Coach Elko's done an outstanding job in, in, you know, in his first season getting things implemented. They're well coached on each side of the ball, physical on each side of the ball, and uh, a passing attack that you've seen that has been extremely accurate and a couple running backs that are physical downhill runners, and it'll be a huge challenge for us. Coach, your program has a chance to be 4-0 for the first time since 2009. As a result of that success, of course, we hear your name floating about for other coaching jobs. What specifically do you do to get your team to tune out all the noise? Well, I think it goes back to the daily things we talk about because uh, we're extremely happy here, but we talk about just like it is with the success of being 3-0. and You need to be where your feet are at each and every day and work work your best and uh, to, to make this place the best it can be. And, uh, you know, and we, we've got to hold true what we ask our players to do. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.